We're back. Me and the claws. I'm so excited my nails are done. Okay, so if you can see all of this, can you see that? I think you can see. Minus these cookies that I am about to, I don't even know the word. They're about to get in my belly. Um, I went to Randall's. So this is my Randall's haul. Um, I didn't take my coupon binder with me because we went in my husband's truck and I forgot to take my binder. But I had some coupons online, so it wasn't the worst thing. But out of pocket, I spent $29.65. And before coupons, before I put my Randall's card in, um, I think my total was over $50, so it was good. I thought I got some good deals. These, there's a girl that I know, and she bakes the most amazing cookies. These are, look at that. Now, they are a little pricey, but you get what you pay for. Um, I like them. So, I picked them up, and after I met her for those, we went to... Randall's and then I went to get my inserts and I have a big box over there that I need to clip and sort That will not happen today. So let's go over what I got at Randall's. So first off I got these hefty bags because I have to receipt because I don't remember the prices of anything today Um, I know I had a coupon for one dollar off of two and then there was like a Randall's coupon for one dollars off three if you do the just for you um if you go online and you upload coupons to your card that is one of them so for those they were hefty bags were three of them for 537 so three divided by five is about a dollar sixty seven so they were about a dollar seventy five a box which is I think pretty good and so yeah i thought that was good i'm just going to i'll just put them back where they were they looked fine right there then next up i got 12 gatorades right now randall's is having a sale if you buy uh 12 of these you get these for 59 cents so you can't beat that because um gatorade is huge in my house next up i got these gushers i only bought two because you know that um, I bought a whole bunch at Kroger's the other day, and these were a dollar and ninety-one cents on if you added the digital coupon. So they were a dollar ninety-one a piece, and then I had a fifty cents off coupon. That coupon doubles, so a dollar ninety-one and a dollar ninety-one is about four dollars. And according to my receipt, because I'm not a Randall's slash Vons Pro, um, it's showing that. One of them rang up for $0.91 cents and the other one rang up for $1.91. So after all of those um, manufactured coupons and then the Just For You coupon, like, I don't know, but that's what happened. Like, if you have Randall's or Vons, go get these Gushers because that's a really good price for these. You can't beat it. And I've been eating them a lot. I've gained like 8 pounds, okay? I a batch of those cookies yesterday. That's my second batch. I picked those up today. I'm not happy with myself. Now, back to this. Captain Crunch Berries. I did not have a coupon, but they were three for five. So um, the reason why I got them is because uh, I had a $3 off of a $20 purchase coupon, which if you shop at Randall's or Vons, um, you know that they give you that three dollars off of a twenty dollar purchase so at first I wasn't sure um, of everything that I was getting so I was like let me get these because they're three for five and we like these in my house so um, I just added them to make sure I hit the twenty dollar limit to get the three dollars off so I got three of those so that makes those about a dollar sixty seven a piece those were some Lay's potato chips they are a dollar and 88 cents, I believe. Let me look at the receipt. This receipt is so confusing. I'm used to reading like a CVS receipt or a Walmart receipt. Uh, yeah. Lay's. 
I don't even know. Like, I don't even know. I don't know. They were on sale. I think they were $1.88. I don't know. Look at that. I don't know. Do you see where it says Lay's? Like, right there. And it says, like, $3.29. And then, I don't know. I know that they didn't charge me $3.29 for those. I do know that. I don't know. I don't know why it says that. Lay's, Cheddar, and Three Quantity Quaker Cereal Crunch. Oh, I know why. It's because they were part of the... Let me show you. I know why. See, I knew I could figure it out. It was part of the buy one, get one free. So I think they ended up in this section. I don't know. I, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I probably should have researched this more, but I don't know. But anyways, this is the sale. Like you could see like the Quaker Life is three for five. The Kellogg's is one ninety nine. Let me just show you that. See? I don't know. The lace I was in the store. And they were a dollar eighty-eight. So I thought they were a good price. I like them and my daughter likes them, so I got them. Now, next up, I got these bush baked beans because daddy likes these and he's seen them in the store. And every time we see these, he always wants to buy them. And the sign said that they were 99 cents. And in here it says that they're three for five, but I don't know why it's saying this in the ad, but in the store they were advertised for 99 cents. So, yeah, I think they were 99 cents, but they were a good price anyways. Let me look on here. I'm not very good today at my um research, but yeah, it says two baked beans were $1.98. So, yeah, right here. Right here, two quantity baked beans at $1.98. So, yeah, they were 99 cents, and if you don't ever buy those... Or sometimes you do, that's a really good price. Because normally they are, they're like $1.88 at Walmart. They're expensive. So with 4th of July coming, those are a good deal. Um, I did take advantage. First, I wasn't going to get the hefty plates because I was like, I didn't take my coupons. And that's a whole dollar that I'm missing. But then I went to the front of the store because there was no Wi-Fi in the back of the store. So I had to go to the front of the store and stand there. And I was like leaning against the pole and like on my phone trying to upload, make sure I had all the coupons uploaded. But these were $1.50. Um, and so are these. So they were $1.50 a piece. And with them being $1.50 a piece on the Just For You um, digital uh, digital personalized coupons that they give you, there was also a manufacturer coupon for a dollar off. So that made these a dollar a piece. So a dollar fifty and a dollar fifty is three dollars minus a dollar would be two dollars. So yeah, a dollar a piece for hefty plates and bowls is a really good deal. Um, I did not use like an actual coupon like this. Coupons are like everywhere in my house. Like I could just pull that out right now. Like I could just pull one from here or here. They're like all over my house, literally. Um, but yeah, so um, I had one online, so I took advantage of that because at first I wasn't going to get them. But then I saw that I had a coupon, so I was like, yeah, that's the deal. Then next, the last thing that I got was Pringles because the three-year-old, she likes them a lot. And as you can see, cheddar and sour cream is a popular favorite flavor in our house because we all like those. Um, it's funny, me and my husband, we don't eat cheese. He doesn't like these chips, but I do. But I don't eat cheese. Like, I don't eat cheeseburgers. Um, I don't eat like Parmesan, like ugh, gag. Okay, I don't eat cheese. And I'm not like lactose intolerant. I just don't eat cheese. I've never ate it ever in life. And, but I do eat pizza. But it has to be a certain kind of pizza. Like, I can't eat, like, fancy brand pizza because the cheese is, like, gag me. Um, yeah. So, that was the last thing I got. Were the Pringles. They were four for five. So, that makes them $1.25 each. Now, there is a manufacturer coupon for these for $1 off. But, like I said, I didn't take my coupon binder with me. So, I didn't have any cues with me in the store um, besides... Um, I did have some, what do you call it, 
coupons from coupons.com that I printed and I had those in my purse. And so that's why I had the coupon for this for $1 off and also a coupon for these for 50 cents off. And you know what? I'm going to tell you this and I think that I double dipped on the Gushers because um, that coupon doubles for a dollar and there was a digital coupon online and I uploaded it to my card and I didn't realize it until I left that when I gave him that coupon to scan it because I left them in my basket and another cashier was like, oh man, did you want those? And I was like, oh shit, yeah, I wasn't trying to steal them. Um, they were just in a different part of the basket and I couldn't see. So when he first went to scan the coupon, it didn't work because they were still in the basket. So then we take them out and then he scans them and then the digital coupons come off. And then so then he scanned my actual paper coupon and then he was like, Oh, yeah, you got these. So then he put a dollar in. So I did not realize it until I left because I didn't know that I uploaded the digital coupon. I knew that I did the um, sale price for $1.91 for the Just For You for the personalized coupons. But, yeah, I double dipped on that. And I did not mean to do it. It was an accident. So I really got those for, like, I don't know, like, super cheap, like a dollar a piece. So, yeah, four for five around a dollar seventy for these for I got three of them 59 cents you have to buy 12 if you get less than 12 they are a dollar 25 and three for five and the chips that fell on the floor or huh, let me just show you one eighty eight so yeah and the bush baked beans are 99 cents. That's a good deal. So I think that's it for this Randall's video. I spent $29.65 out of pocket, which was really good. I think I did pretty good for spending 30 bucks. Um, I have a lot of meat in my house already. So with my kids being home from the summer, um, this is good snack stuff and pretty good. And these I go through a lot. So I only got the big ones. I didn't get the small ones. Because I need the big ones more. Because sometimes I buy big portions of meat. And I separate them and I freeze them and I write the date. So yeah, that's why I don't get the little ones. But other than that, I think that's it. I bought this this weekend because I ran out of perfume. So if you've ever used this, tell me what you think. I haven't opened it yet. Because I'm really cheap when it comes to buying perfume. But I went to the mall to go return something for my husband. And... I decided to buy myself some perfume because I never buy it. I always get it for a gift, but I ran out. And um, I decided I splurged. I spent $30. That is not me to spend $30 on perfume ever in life. Ever. If I'm buying it for a gift for someone, yeah. But for myself, no. So, Vintage Bloom by Jessica Simpson. I do like her fancy, but yeah. I bought that for myself. And look what I got. See the dates? See the dates? There is a video coming soon. Here's a little preview, okay? $149 for extra. Bam. But we'll talk about that more later. So thank y'all for watching. Happy Sunday. Mm, I don't know what I'm going to do. Probably going to like go take a shower and take a nap. I'm tired. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.